everybody. I'm USA Today bestselling author Hildy McQueen and today we're going to be doing a couple of pages for my next week's challenge which is books and coffee. I'm pretty sure that's it. <laughs> so gosh I have a little bit of stuff to talk about. So I'm going to be using some stickers out of this Live Love Posh Office Chic. I don't know if there's boxes in here so if there isn't I will be pulling boxes from this <clears throat> book from Mojo Jojo Plans called Autumn Boxes 2.0 and then I'm gonna be using these two washi tapes because I think they're really pretty and they really go with the theme. I have gone into the Mojo Jojo website and they don't have a lot of the box books what they do have is they'll have them like in shades of green shades of blue so you have to buy an entire book for whatever shade you want so i am still on the hunt for books like this one that have a combination of different boxes box color themes i don't know that i want to invest in one book for a you know green for example and then <clears throat> when i need other colors what am i gonna do so yeah, I'm gonna keep a lookout and if I and if you guys know of any shops that sell books that have different color boxes, let me know. I know that a happy planner had some. So I might go search in there. If I find something, I will link it down below. So like I said, the theme for this week, why am I out of breath? Good lord. Let me drink a little bit of my LaCroix. I'm trying this limoncello flavor it's so good okay so in here for books and coffee oh i opened right to the page i found these that have books and coffee and i thought it would go well and then i also wanted to use or something else maybe some of these I'm not sure yet though but maybe here's some big books so I'll probably do that I am traveling this week on Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday I'm going to be going to Chicago let's see if I need to brighten the light a little bit more it is a little bit cloudy outside so I'm gonna try and make it a little brighter mmm yeah, so I'm trying to decide how to do this because these three days, well, mainly Thursday and Sunday, I am flying. And then these two days, I'm going to be at the Chicago Planner Conference. I'm so excited. I am actually sponsoring two tables there. Okay, let's start with this coffee to go here. I'm going to start with that sticker. And... Unfortunately, I have to use it twice because it's the only sticker that has coffee and the theme is coffee and books. So I'm going to just randomly put it down here and then here. I'm going to leave it lifted a little bit because I do want to put a box here. That reminds me, I did not even look to see... What are you guys doing here? I did not even look to see if I have boxes that are compatible in this book. If they're not, then I'm going to have to figure out what to do. Maybe these copper ones. Let's see. There's some little ones. There's. I love this color. I wish there was more of that one. I have one here, two here. Okay, so I might. And here's a big one. Okay. Looks like I will be combining copper and these. So let's start with this big one here. And then I want to use these. And then a copper one. Do I have a tall copper one? Yes, I do this one. Okay, and then here's another one. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. Phew, I'm glad. Um, that I was able to do figure that out. So since I don't know why I stuck all those boxes on my hand, that's gonna make for awkward filming. Sorry. Let's put this one here. 
that way since I'm gonna be on the road I can kind of um, journal here a little bit okay and then this copper colored one I kind of want to cover up this line because It's going to show through the box, and I'm not in a show through the box kind of mood today. So let's black, white that out. I was going to say black it out. Goodness. So I am sponsoring two tables at the Chicago Planner Conference, which means so these are tables of tables of 10 people that I have to put you know, at least, I like to do at least $60, $70 worth of stuff at each seat. So as you can imagine, it's a lot of stuff. Well, I'm flying. I was going to drive, but then I decided that's a long drive. It's going to be a two-day drive because it's from Georgia up to Chicago. So it would have been like 15 hours, 15 hours or so, and I'm like, nope, not in the mood. So, yeah, we're going to fly. So, big, giant suitcases are going with me. That's going to be interesting to do. <laughs> this is crooked, isn't it? Something's crooked here. Is it this one? Is it everything? I think... One is a little crooked. Okay, look. Mm. Because this one's a little crooked, then this one is a little crooked. So I'm gonna have to. Oh no, it's not lifting cleanly. Okay, I'll have to fix that. And let's pick this up. Yeah, so I've managed to do one big suitcase with for one one big suitcase for each table, and then um, a smaller suitcase with my clothes and then I have a carry-on with books that's going to be heavy as well this is going to be an interesting travel but the only good thing or one of the good things is that I'm traveling with five friends so they're gonna they are already uh aware of my situation <laughs> of traveling with all this stuff and they're like oh we're gonna help you plus one of them is gonna have to check in one of the big suitcases because on this airline we get uh, two suitcases free so one of them said that they'll check in one of the big suitcases so I don't have to pay for it and then they'll help me carry you know load everything into those wheelie carts and stuff so it'll work out um, and then we are also going to be getting a lot of swag while we're there so they're like okay well you know it works out fine for us too because then we can um use those suitcases to come back and bring back our swag. So even, cause they're gonna be empty coming back. So it works out in a lot of different ways. And so I'm excited about that. So let's use some more decor before I continue with this. And I also wanted to use the washi. Let me not forget that. See how well this fits? I don't, this one maybe does too. I think, I don't know if I wanna add the washi now or later. I think I'm gonna add it now. And this washi, I just looked for, um, what did I look for? Checker? No, not checker. Plaid washi. I don't even know if this is considered plaid. But anyway, I searched for plaid washi or something like that on Amazon. If I can find the link, I will post it down below. But I got a whole pack of different colors with all of them with the grid that's what i searched for i think grid washi and then the box had a blues and greens and browns and one that's like a reddish i'll show you some of them some of them are within reach so this is some of them and then there's also a pink one well this is pink but a pink a white one with pink oh gosh i'm trying to reach it this one and then of course the two and then there's also some with blues but i don't know where they are so and it was not that expensive but i love 
grid washi, so I thought that that would add a little something to spreads to make it, you know, give it a little personality and stuff. Okay. Um, okay, I like that. That adds a little something. Okay, so now let's go back to the pictures. And we need to add books. We have the coffee, now we need the books element. Let's see if I can zoom out just a little so you can see more of the page. Okay. Um, so these are books, and there were some big books. I wanna make sure and put those on here also. And I don't know if I want to do them sideways or stack like this. I think I want to stack them like this. And then maybe put it by one of these vases with the plants on them. So I'm going to pull this guy here. I'm probably not going to do a lot of journaling only because I'll be traveling. So I don't mind covering up a lot on this spread. I think oh, I want to cut some of this white off. I'm going to use these scissors because they were within reach. And I got these. They're kind of sticky, probably from cutting stickers. So I do have my other scissors here, but they're kind of not good for fiddly cutting. What is that called? Fuzzy cutting? Something like that when you got to cut around the edges really close. People call it fussy cutting or fiddly cutting. I don't know what it's called. So today I finished two projects. I am so freaking relieved. Got one book off to the proofreader and one book off to my one publisher. So, oh my gosh, I feel so relieved to have that done. Um, it feels good. Feels good. I'm going to repeat this plant over on the other side. Do I want it down here or do I want it up here? I think I'm going to put it here. And then, so today, this afternoon after I finish filming this, I'm going to open up my third writing project. Oh, another thing I did today was um, take the time to write all the books that are due and their due dates up on the um, on my whiteboard above my desk because I keep having to look up due dates and stuff and I'm like, why do I not take the time to put it on the whiteboard? Because I know why, because I am I was overwhelmed. I had so much stuff that I wasn't sure I was gonna get it to the publisher in time and to my editor in time. So I um, had to, I didn't have time, honestly, just didn't have time to stop and write things down. So I finally did that this morning. It's like the first thing I did. Came in here with my coffee and put things down on the whiteboard. Okay, let's put her there. She kind of looks angry. <laughs> okay, I feel like I need something up here and down here. Or I don't know. I think I need some little decor on this box. And then maybe something up here. So... So I do have another set of books. I mean, I could. Let me see. I'm not sure, though. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, I do have these little bowls. Those are kind of cute. I wish I had more coffee cups to use because it is supposed to be a coffee theme. But um, I'm going to keep looking. Oh, maybe here. Oh, I thought I saw coffee. That's kind. Of, that's supposed to be coffee. I mean, it's hard to tell, but it, it is supposed to be a coffee cup. So let's pull that one. Okay, it's a clear coffee cup. And, and here's another one. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. So this coffee cup, I'm going to put here like that. And then this one. I'll put it next to the books there. Okay, I um, I don't know. Still, like, need something. Let's see. 
Oh, I don't have a a uh, what do you call these things? Quote. Gosh, my brain is like all of a sudden my brain went what? I'm gonna use this one because this is like grind, but most of all I pray and mainly because grind coffee, haha. Play on words. Do I want it here or do I want it here? Okay, one of them's gonna go here, and then the other one is gonna go over here once I find it. So this one says keep Ryan stay shining. Uh, also a word, uh, play on words. Um, so this one's a repeat of the same thing. So let's use that one. I'm just gonna cut it in half so that it doesn't go so long because I don't want it long like that. So let's cut it in half. Okay. I'm gonna put it, hopefully it fits here. Kind of goes over a little bit, but that's okay. All right, we have that. So far, I think it's cute. I mean, hmm. I don't know why I keep feeling like I need something. Usually the washi kind of finishes it off, so I don't know if I should put some up here. Maybe another couple boxes. Like here, it's all blank. That whole, this whole entire column is blank. So it definitely needs a box there. <clears throat> I'll be flying this day, so flight information will have to go there. Um... Gosh, I wish I had some more bigger boxes. Oh, look, 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 look. Ask and you shall receive. So I'm flying this day. I'm going to put it here to cover up that line. And then I don't know what time I get home. So, but I'll put that here. I think it's pretty early in the, no, it's in the evening. I get there early, but when I come back, I come back late. So it'll be at night when I come back. Then I have to dry it from Atlanta, which is like a bummer, kind of. And then over here, let's see. I'm going to have to go with smaller boxes because there's no more big ones. I wish these were. I mean, I could use the outline, but should I do that? You know, I have never tried that. Let me try that. I'm going to try it with this um, square one here. I've seen somebody else do it, but I've never done it. But I mean, you have the outline of a box. So let's see how that works. So I'm going to cut it like around the edge. And if that's the case, I can do this with a lot of other boxes. And we can read. Oops, I hate that I cut into the one beneath it, but okay. Note to self, be more careful. So then what I'm going to do is cut the edge cl as close as I can, as straight as I can, like that. And then I'm going to peel it off the background. And then I'll have a square box. That's just the outline. Ha ha ha. Look at me being innovative. I wonder if anybody else has done this before. I'm sure somebody has. I th think I saw somebody do it. It is kind of a fiddly though. Oh, and then, oh wait, I gotta turn it because that line is gonna be right there. Ooh, don't tear. Okay, let me put it this way. Yeah. <gasps> Shit. Okay, okay, oh. Okay, that's why this is not very easy to do. It kind of gets crumpled a little bit. A little bit crumpled on this, but it's not bad. I can always put something there. Yeah, that kind of worked. I'm so proud of me thinking outside the box and stuff. Um... Let's see. And then I'm gonna get one more of these and put it like this. I'll do my best to put it down straight. Okay. All right. 
And now I just feel like I need something here, something maybe here, <laughs> here. Let's see. Other than that, what, am I, what else am I doing this weekend? Also, my friends are coming over on Saturday. Today is Friday, so that's tomorrow. And we're going to be doing some crafting. Mainly because... Oh, this is kind of big, but I'm going to put it here. Mainly because there's some projects that a friend of mine has to do. And, you know, nothing's better than having friends get together and say, hey, I need help with the project. And people are like, okay, we'll help. Let's all hang out and do it together. And then you get your project done. And you get to hang out with friends and talk and chat and laugh. And so it's it's kind of cool. Since I don't have a girl over here, I'm going to put one over here. And it's kind of a table book. We'll say they're, to, well, we're going to say these are books. They're coffee table books. Okay, let's put that one down here. And then I have this one that I'm going to use somewhere else. Because um, I don't need to write a lot this week. No. Well, even if I did need to write a lot, I'm putting down so much, so many stickers that I don't know how much writing I'm going to be doing. <laughs> but I like it. I think this turned out so serene and pretty, and I like it. I don't know what you guys think. It's a little more, I don't know. I like it. I really like this area here. I wish I could have duplicated it in a way over here, but I think still think it looks good. So let me write that on the bottom. The theme is books and coffee. And it is election week, so I'm sure that people will be needing maybe not coffee, maybe more like wine. <laughs> but you know, what will happen will happen. There's no there's nothing good that's gonna come from stressing it. I already voted, so I don't have to worry about trying to fight any crowds or anything like that next week. Um Okay, I guess I'll stop because if I keep going, I'm going to come up with more stuff. But I kind of want to use another coffee thing. So I'm going to use this coffee thing and put it down here. Like here. There we go. Okay, I'm finally done. I promise this time I am. I hope you guys have a great week and enjoy it. And don't stress about stuff. What's going to happen is going to happen. Bye, you guys.